everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. And as you can see, I'm not in the Everyday Counts building, I'm at home. Um, that's because there's a little bit of construction work going on around the Everyday Counts building. So we'll be back there, or I'll be back there next week. Anyhow, we have an hour together for chair yoga. So making sure that above all else, you have everything you need. Starting with a chair that's comfortable for you, doesn't matter what it looks like, as long as it's nice and stable, and you've got a little bit of space around you. You're welcome to sit into the back of the chair. If you like that support, then that's fantastic. Otherwise, I encourage you to come forward, even if it's just a centimeter or so. That way, we can strengthen through the core of our body, which is what we're gonna be focusing on today. Actually, the middle line of the body. So let's take the feet at a comfortable distance apart and it's going to be different for each and every one of us as everything is. Root down through the feet, you can even spread those toes nice and wide, pick up through the heels, anything you want just to bring your awareness down to the soles of the feet. Whatever that support is underneath you, feel the texture of it, even if you have shoes on. Notice that the earth ultimately is holding you here and allow your legs to deepen into that support. You might even notice that you can release some tension through the hips, upper legs and lower legs, even in the ankles and through the feet as you allow that to happen. Mm -hmm. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out and with that grounded, rooted feeling, just allow yourself to settle into this moment. Another few breaths like that. You're welcome to soften your gaze or close your eyes as you do that. And again, tune into that support underneath you. Take as long as you like with that. And then in your own time, we'll take our awareness to our seat where we can feel the chair underneath us. You can even wiggle and waggle from side to side if you like. Now notice if you're putting more weight into one side of your pelvis or the other, or more forward or more back, and see if you can even that up somewhat. So notice how that feels. And then take your awareness back down to your feet and notice if you're putting more pressure on one foot than the other, more to the front of your feet or to the back of your feet. Do the same thing there, just, just balance things out. And there's no right and wrong way of doing this. Mm -hmm. And you might notice when you take your awareness back up to your seat that if you had a preference for sitting on one side more than the other or front to back, that you've slid back into that. So notice if you can shift, change anything. And then imagine at the center of your pelvis, your tailbone going all the way down through the back. And imagine like a rod, your spine lifting up towards the crown of your head through the base of your skull and the crown of the head reaching up towards the sky too. And it doesn't matter what's going on with our spine, we're all put together differently and we've got a whole lot of different things going on. So we're not looking for perfectly straight, in fact the spine is not naturally straight. But whatever is going on with you, just imagine that spine like a, an energetic line, as if a plumb line, so as if something is holding a plumb line just above your head like a thread with a weight on it and start to imagine that center line as if it could reach all the way down through the center of your pelvis. Mm -hmm. So we're imagining it through the center line of our body and then imagine it from the side view. So notice if you feel like if you had a pendulum in the center of the crown of your head, whether that weight would be slightly shifted forward or slightly shifted back, or if you can change things up for that to be right the way through the center of your body as best as you can. We root down through our feet and seat and we lift up through that center line. The breath is at its natural, easy breath. Notice how this feels here. 
With this alignment, widen through the collarbones and allow the shoulders to soften back and down away from the ears. Take a big breath in, keeping all this. Soften and allow yourself to change things to make it more easy for you. Again, there's no right and wrong here. So we draw our awareness to alignment and then we make adjustments and adapt it to suit our bodies. Mm -hmm. And then with that easy, steady breath, just notice how you're feeling today. Notice what's on your mind. And notice how your body feels. Notice the energy level you're working with. If there are certain areas that feel tight or tense. And if there is tightness or tension, is there anything you can do to offer yourself even 1% more comfort? And maybe it's sitting back into that support of the chair. Maybe it's changing up how you're sitting. Maybe it's taking a few longer breaths. Mm -hmm. And then we start to allow any tension to start to soften as best as we can. You might notice there are particular areas in your body where you are holding tension that you can release a little bit. And then we start to notice the breath just as it is. Inhaling and exhaling. We're gonna steady that breath out as it comes in and out at your own rhythm. You can even imagine that center line of the body, the breath coming all the way up on an inhale. The inhale is always the upward rising. And the exhale, like a traditional thermometer, the breath sliding back down, maybe towards the lower belly, maybe even down towards the pelvic floor or even through to the earth. And you might notice that rising and falling in your chest, in your shoulders, or simply Imagining that as best as you can through the center line of your body, lifting and lowering steadily, smoothly, even if that means letting the breath go and be a little smaller, a little shallower, if that means that the control of the breath is steady and smooth. And if this breath doesn't suit you, no big deal. Breathe in your own way. This is your class, your yoga class adapt it and change it to what it is that you need. We're going to root our feet down, our seat down and lift up from there, widen through the collarbones and once again aware of that rod through the center of the middle line of the body, like the central nervous system going through the spine. Steady breath, soothing that central nervous system. And then from there, with the very tip of your nose, figure of eights, starting small, allowing that steady breath to guide the movement. So the breath is guiding the length and steadiness of the movement. That movement can get bigger or smaller. Notice where you're feeling it in your body. Notice if you need to change or adjust anything. And then when you are ready, we'll go around in the opposite direction. Notice the middle line of that figure of eight. Notice where you feel there's different locations. You feel this in your body adapt and adjust the movement once you recognize the sensations. Mm -hmm. Another two. And then at the end of the next exhale, coming back to center when you're ready, allowing that right hand to come down, figure of eights with that right shoulder. 
And naturally, your upper body will want to come along with the movement. See if you can keep that middle line of the body as static as possible. And we really bring that movement to isolate through the shoulder. And then notice just how you feel this, how you experience it in your body. It's not just in the shoulder. In fact, you might not even notice anything in the shoulder. It might be a whole lot of sensation in different places. And then we'll go around in the opposite direction when you're ready. Still figure of eights. Keeping the upper body as still and as stable as possible, rooting down to rise up through the spine, through the crown of the head. The breath is that steady, smooth breath. Two more figure of eights here in your own time, unless you want to rest or another movement feels better for you. And then after that one, that right hand comes back to support, left hand dangles down, figure of eight. Once again, we're rooting to rise, isolating the movement in the shoulder, it doesn't have to look a particular way. Noticing how this feels for you. Noticing where you feel this. And when you're ready, we pause and then we'll go around in the opposite direction. We normally do our favorite direction first, so this could feel a little more awkward, a little more stiff. Always adjusting things for your body. No right or wrong way of doing this and resting is a great option. We're doing every other one or less. Another two here. Moving at your own pace, more is not better here. Nice, and then we'll take those hands back to support. Rooting to rise, take a big breath in as you lift. Exhale, imagine that breath settling back down like that traditional thermometer. And taking the elbows in towards your waist now, soft fists with the arms, and draw that right arm back up and then over with the elbows. The elbow comes over across the body, the left arm comes back up and over. So as if you've joined your hands together, the elbows are actually creating a figure of eight also in the air, but you don't have to join the hands. And that can be as big or as small a movement as you like. And now the upper body is bringing in that gentle twist into the movement option is to draw the belly in towards the spine so we've got a slightly rounded back body and then you might notice that that allows the sensations to get a little bigger so if this is not for you keep the spine upright just keep moving through the shoulders if you want to add sensation then you are as if you're in the pool and you're doing freestyle through the water Belly drawn into the spine and the breath is still guiding the movement, steady and smooth. Only doing as much as feels right for you. And again, every other one, every third one, or resting is great. Two more, either side. Mm -hmm. Imagine, sense, or feel that center line of the body, even with that possible curve in the spine. And then we're going to come all the way upright again. So noticing, rooting to rise, evening things out, front to back, side to side. Keeping those elbows in, we're going to go in the opposite direction. So long spine, we're going to start to draw the elbows across, up, and back. It doesn't have to be a big movement or it can be your choice. Keeping the spine elongated and awake up towards the sky. Now your add on here is to lift up through the chest like we've got this big heart that we're opening out. So we've got an extension in the spine, drawing the chin in. You can lift the chin if the breath stays steady, but otherwise chin drawn in. And we're getting all these lines 
across the front of the body, especially through the chest and those diagonals across from the left hip through the right shoulder and right hip through the left shoulder and ultimately through the elbows. Mm -hmm. And now it's as if we're in the pool and we're doing that backstroke. And all the arm movements can be big, can be small, you can be resting, you can do less. But again, get that sense of the breath up and down the spine, that center line of the body. Mm -hmm. Two more either side, unless you're resting or ready. Last one here, and we'll bring the hands all the way back. Any movements you need in your body to release some tension, go ahead. Now, if you are sitting into the back of your chair and it's possible for you to come forward, even if it's a centimeter or so, I do encourage that as we're getting down in through some of the extension and flexion that we've just um, had some experience of. So hands on the thighs, on the inhale, we're drawing the heels of the hands back, opening through the heart. We've got an extension here. Bring the chin in first to the chest. So we've got um, we're, um, being safe through the neck. On the exhale, we're pushing the fingers forward as we round the belly into the spine. Inhaling and exhaling. Now the add-on is on the inhale, you can lift the chin, the exhale, drawing the chin towards the spine. We'll get in through the neck there. And it's gonna look different for each and every one of us. And you might notice that either the extension or the flexion of the spine feels more challenging or easier. Try and stay away from the inner dialogue of judgment and start to simply notice what feels right for you. Starting to get into the pelvis on that exhale, rolling onto the back of the pelvis, any amount will get into the lower back somewhat. And then as you send the tailbone out behind you, we get an overarch in the back. And again, getting into the lower spine, front and back. Notice how this feels for you. Allow the breath to guide the entire movement. On the inhale, you can imagine dragging your heels back towards the chair, not that they'll move. And on the exhale, push the toes away from you and that'll scoop the tailbone more. But again, this is at your own pace, your own movement. No right and wrong. If you want to add some strength here into the core of the body, which is the um, what we're working on with the flexibility here, adding strength on the inhale. Lift the arms if you're holding a beach ball, a big one, a small one, your choice as long as the shoulders feel comfortable. That's the inhale and on the exhale, fingers come down, maybe even back behind you. Think into the shoulders somewhat, but Remember the arms are just an extension of the spine. And because the arms are pretty heavy as we extend the arms out, then your core has to work a whole lot harder for this to be more steady. No momentum involved at all. So at any point, if you wanted to pause, you could pause there and feel stable. Inhaling and exhaling, three more in your own time, with your own pace. Keep your breath as steady and as smooth as you can. And at the end of your next exhale, when you're ready, unless you're resting already, we'll come back to center. Mm -hmm. Any movements you need to relieve your self of tension, go ahead. Keeping my hands down, coming into a twist, so we're rooting to rise, and you're welcome to sit back into your chair if that's more comfortable for you, if you did move forward. Inhaling, we've got that extension through the spine as we lengthen the breath upwards. On the exhale, turning towards the left hand side, right hand comes forward, left hand comes back naturally. Inhaling forward and exhaling, twisting. Now you can gaze over towards the left. You can even gaze over the left shoulder. Notice what's happening here in your pelvis and your lower body. 
What naturally wants to happen is we slide that right hip forward to assist our body with the twist. See if you can root down through your feet and pelvis so the twist is coming from the spine only. Stay at a place where the breath feels smooth. Mm -hmm. Inhaling and exhaling. Option to keep pulsing. Option next time you twist to stay. Three breaths there. Hovering the hands can help with um, not using the hands as leverage to twist you. Keep the breath steady and smooth. Notice how you're feeling. Stay for the last exhale. And then we'll inhale back to center. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Nicely done. Coming to the other side, twisting to the right. Rooting to rise. Steady breath, which is guiding everything. This is the inhale. On the exhale, we're twisting towards the right side. Inhaling and exhaling. You might notice the rotation of the left is very different to the, uh, the rotation of the right. So no right and wrong here. We're just getting curious. Notice if you can glance over that right shoulder a little more, if that feels okay for you. Inhaling and exhaling, steady and smooth. Option to drop your awareness down into your pelvis and notice if that left hip is shifting forward or your lower body is helping you and see if you can keep the lower body still and steady. And then the last movement here is to twist and stay. Three breaths, hovering the hands um, means that we're not using them as leverage. We're really tapping into the muscles of the body to hold us here. The breath is smooth and easy. Always coming out early if you prefer. We're staying for that last exhale. And then we inhale back to center. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Nicely done. And then from there, we're gonna take those feet a little wider. Make sure you're comfortable and feel stable on your chair. Hands are going to support you to start with. Inhaling, rooting, lifting up through the crown of the head. That's the rising. Exhaling, the breath is settling back down into your seat, into your feet, or down through that midline, maybe down through the lower belly or through to the earth. From here, we're gonna roll through those ribs. Steady and smooth. Allow the movement to be comfortable for you. Now this can be a tiny movement. You can even imagine moving. Or you can get your pelvis, your head, your neck involved. There is no right or wrong here. What you're trying to do is tune into your body and let it move for you rather than getting in your head. Smooth it out. So again, if I said pause, then you could hold it at any point because you're not using momentum to move. If you don't need the hands, you can hover the hands or bring the hands into um, prayer or interlace the hands and imagine as if you've got a big soup bowl there and you are stirring that thick soup. Obviously, the further forward you come, the more um, strength you're going to need from your core and the further back you come, same thing. So working at a place again that you feel stable and steady, the breath is guiding the movements. Nicely done. And after this one, we're going to take our hands back to support, pause at the end of the exhale and then come back in the opposite direction. Smooth and steady. Again, as big or as small as you like, you can even pause and simply imagine moving. No right or wrong here. And then option. If you need the support of your hands, stay here, great place to be. If you don't, hands can come into prayer or interlace the hands the opposite way, opposite first finger and thumb on top. And then the option is to extend the arms out 
and therefore we're building up that stability and strength through the core of the body. Inhaling and exhaling. Get another three here. You can always rest, always do less. You can always do more too. And then the hands come back to support. Let's do one more and we come all the way back to center. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Nicely done. And then from there, you draw those feet in towards center. And I'm gonna to come to the um, front of my chair, but it completely is up to you as we're coming into a modified eagle pose. So we're gonna draw those knees and ankles in towards each other. Now, if you do not like your knees and ankles touching or coming in towards each other, you can have something in between like a bolster or simply a pillow, anything that feels comfortable. But drawing the toes and the entire legs, if I just zipped you up, so you had a mermaid tail, so everything's coming into that center line of the body, root down through the feet, and lift up from there. That's the rooting. Imagine the breath coming all the way up through the spine if you like, like that traditional thermometer. Exhaling, settling down. Optional staying here, great place to be, really connecting to that middle line of the body. Your next option is to cross the right ankle over the top of the left, and you might need to juggle your feet a little bit here so you feel um, that you're coming into more to midline. That right foot is tapping down in your own way, so it's supported on the floor. And then we're drawing the knees and thighs in towards each other, shins, ankles in towards each other, and the feet are rooting through the floor. So we've got the same midline connection. Option number two. Option number three is, if it's there for you to cross the right leg over the left, Ankle can be out or depending on how it feels in your legs, drawing the legs in towards each other. And you may need to shift that up so you feel like you're stable. Again, more is not better here. So if this feels better for you, then please take what feels better for you. Drawing everything in towards the midline pushing down through the stability of your foot or feet and lifting up from there. From here, once again, evening things out, noticing whether you're pushing more into the ball of your feet or foot or the heel if you're more connected to one side than the other and see if you can shift and even that out. Same thing with your seat here, even with a crossed leg, rooting down through both sit bones, lifting up from there. Great place to be right here, focusing on your breath. If you want to add the arms, left hand comes to the right shoulder, right hand on top, option to stay here. Option to lift the elbows up, and you can slide the hands more onto the shoulders, really doesn't matter. It's just at a comfortable place. Sometimes having the elbows down feels a little oppressive on the, spot, on the lungs, sorry, don't feel like you can get a good breath. So again, adapting for what feels better for you. Option number two, my favorite option is taking the palms towards each other, palms or interlaced hands, drawing the heels of the hands in, and then drawing the elbows in too. Now the further down they come, the easier it is for us generally, and the further up they come towards shoulder height or higher, the harder it is. It does not matter if those elbows meet together, no big deal. Last option here is right left hand comes out, right hand on top, and you're crossing at the elbows. Bend through the elbows, and maybe this is enough here. So the right elbow is sitting in the left elbow. Now, depending on the length of your bones, this may not be accessible for you. It's not accessible for a lot of people, so you get a whole lot of different options. Otherwise, with that right arm cradled in the left, back of the palms could come towards each other or your palms could bind. Again, more is not better here. We're staying at a place that feels comfortable. And I say comfortable, that's relative. The breath is steady. 
So we're rooting to rise. And if you want to do this without the arms or you want to do it without the legs, please adjust and adapt as you need to. Steadying the breath here. Drawing in towards the midline and imagine coming from the support underneath your feet, that breath coming all the way up to the tips of your fingertips or the crown of your head, depending on what you're working with, and exhaling down through the midline. Imagine that you could bring everything in, front and back, side to side, in towards the middle line of the body. And if you want to add on, we're gonna add extension and flexion through the spine. So on the inhale, lifting up through the elbows and we've got extension through the spine, that arch. You can even take your gaze up towards the hands. Exhaling, drawing the elbow in towards the top of the thighs, the belly button, and we're rounding. Inhaling and exhaling, wherever you are. It really, oops, right on top, doesn't matter. But we want the steadiness of the movement. We want the connection to the midline of the body. I want you to notice the right and left side of your body. And then notice everything that's bringing the left and the right together in that midline. And then the front and the back of your body. And then that midline again. We've got two more here. You're always welcome to rest. Coming all the way back to center in your own time, releasing the arms if they were bound, releasing the legs if they were bound, palms towards me, rooting to rise, softening the gaze, tuning into your body or simply closing your eyes and notice what you feel here. You might notice some buzzing, some tingling, in your body in different parts. You might notice different energy levels. You might notice where maybe you um, pushed it a little bit too far. Good to note. So next time when we come to the other side, you can take that into consideration and maybe do less. Opening the eyes, hands come towards your thighs. Same thing, other sides. We're drawing the feet in towards each other. And again, if ankles and knees are uncomfortable being together, you're welcome to take a pillow or a blanket or a towel in between. From here, drawing everything in towards the midline. So the ankles, the knees, the thighs, the hips, everything's drawing in and we're lifting through the spine. Collarbones are wide, shoulders are soft and down. This is a great place to be. Pushing down through the feet, once again noticing if you're shifted more towards one side than another and try and balance and even things out as best as you can. And from there, this is option number one. Option number two is that left ankle crosses over the right, but it's supported. Drawing the knees in towards each other, hips in towards each other, same thing going on here. Steady the breath and notice how this feels. And if this does not feel right to you, no big deal. From there, we're taking the left leg over the right if that suits you. And if, you, if it doesn't, no big deal. Now that ankle can be out through the side, readjust that right leg so it feels like it's stable and it's a good foundation for you. And then the option is to draw the outer legs in towards each other. But again, it's gonna depend on your body and how it feels and how long your bones are. So, wherever you choose to be. Remember, more is not better. You're just accommodating for what feels right for you in this moment, not meaning that it's always gonna feel that way. Steady and smooth, and maybe this is a great place for you to be. If you want to add on, right hand towards the left um, shoulder and the left hand crosses over, elbows down, elbows up, or somewhere in between. Rooting to rise, the breath is still up and down through that midline of the body. 
Next option is the hands come towards each other. If you're interlacing the hands, interlace them the opposite way, opposite first finger and thumb crosses, and then drawing the elbows in towards each other. Once again, the further those elbows are down, the easier it is, the higher up it is, the harder it is for those to get in towards each other. This can be an option. Last option is left elbow sits on top of the right, crossing or bending the elbows. So it's just nestled in that right crook of your arm. And this is not there for a lot of us because of the length of our bones and it just feels oppressive. Hands can come back in towards each other. They may bind, they may never bind. So find a place that suits you. Rooting down to rise, great place to be, steadying the breath up through the midline of the body and down. Noticing maybe in the shoulders, the rising and falling energy through the whole breath cycle. Your option is to stay here or on an inhale, lift through the elbows, maybe even lift the gaze, extension through the spine. On the exhale, we're drawing the elbows in towards each other. That's the exhale. Inhaling and exhale, elbows come in towards the belly button or down through the thighs. Again, we're all put together differently and it's gonna feel very different for each and every one of us. There's no right and wrong here. And if it doesn't feel right for you, then any other movement that your body is calling you to is a great place to be. Or simply resting, focusing on that steady breath, inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. And we've got another three here, steady and smooth. Be honest with yourself if it's going to feel better for you to come out. Last one. Coming back to center, releasing the arms if they were bound and releasing the legs wherever they were, palms towards me, any movement you need to do to release some tension. Soften the gaze or close the eyes, go inward and notice what your experience is now after the pose, after the shape. Allow yourself to come back to that steady breath. And then from here, taking the arms out about shoulder height to relieve the shoulders. If you're unscrewing and screwing the light bulbs in, you can keep a soft bend in the arm if you want to. Nice. And then from here, taking the hands down, big breath in, exhale it out. And when you're ready, I'll meet you down on the floor, on your back. And if you have a rolled pillow or a bolster you would like to bring with you, please go ahead and I'll see you down there. So here we are down on the earth. I'm gonna lie all the way down on my back. Make sure you can see me, make sure you're comfortable. So if you need to put extra softness down on the mat, please do. And if you need an extra pillow or a bolster or something for relaxation and a little bit, then make sure that's handy. Otherwise, we're coming all the way down to the floor. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Readjust yourself so you feel quite comfortable here. And again, if you need anything to feel um, even more comfortable, like a pillow or softness underneath you, please go ahead and do that. From here, I'm gonna draw that right knee in towards us. Give that a little bit of a hug. And just take a few breaths here. Noticing how that feels. And come back to the middle line of the body. Up and down through the spine like that traditional thermometer. Mm -hmm. On the in, we're going to take the hands down here. On the inhale, 
Extending that leg up towards the sky on the exhale, taking it down. Inhaling and exhaling, that leg does not have to come anywhere near straight. Mm -hmm. And from here, drawing the knee more in line with vertical. And then from here, inhaling and exhaling. And that'll allow you probably to get a little more extension through the leg. Mm -hmm. Now option to stay here. Option to extend that leg out at about a 45 degree angle and back in. Inhaling and exhaling. And now we're tapping into the middle line of the body for strength, for stability. Always adjusting things so it feels better for you. And your option is here, if you want to, is to extend that leg so it's almost hovering off the floor. Now notice what's happening in the center line of your body here. Only go as far as you can keep both sides of your body relaxed. If you're finding yourself pulling over towards one side, then readjust what it is that you're doing to accommodate what feels okay in your body. Inhaling and exhaling. Now the last option here is when the knee comes back up towards vertical, the option is to draw the left knee in. Now you can give that a little hug, especially if you had your arms out in a T or a cactus by hugging the left leg You've got less stability in the upper body. Same thing going on. Inhaling, extending, exhaling down. And this takes a whole lot more control in your core. And the option is, of course, to extend that leg out at a 45 degree angle or even extending out towards the bottom of your mat. But we want the steadiness through the midline of the body. Steadiness with the breath and knowing you can come back to any of the previous modifications, including that left foot being down. Now, wherever you are, we've got two more. Mm-hmm. And from here, releasing the left leg down and the right leg comes down too. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Okay, same thing, other side. That right foot is rooted down. Readjust yourself so you feel steady and even. Hands can be anywhere you want them. We're gonna draw that left leg in. Give it a little hug if you like. Draw the shoulders back towards the earth, chin drawn in a little, so the um, spine is long all the way through the base of the skull. Now release the hand, that can be anywhere that feels comfortable for you. On the inhale, we're extending, exhale, lowering. Now with the knee drawn into you, then it's gonna be more challenging to extend through the leg. Just take it easy, we start small, we're not pushing anything. This is a great place to stay. Next option is to draw the left knee more horizontal towards the sky, and then we're flexing and extending. And that might make it a little easier to get a little more length out of the left leg or not. Steady and smooth. Again, noticing what's happening through the middle line of the body. So noticing if you're wavering from side to side and keep the movement steady and smooth as much as you can. The option is here. 
to extend the left leg out more at an angle. Inhaling and exhaling. And again, notice what's happening through the midline of your body. Imagine that like a rod, keeping it stable and still if you need to rest, if you need to do every other one. And the last option is to extend that left leg long. As long as you feel steady in the breath, stable in the body, making accommodations for your body, taking the leg at the angle that feels right for you. And of course, you can do every other one, you can rest, you can simply imagine moving, but we're trying to keep it stable. Now the last add-on here, if you want to, is to draw that right knee in too. Give that knee a little hug, either un at the thighs, underneath the knee, or in front of that shin, and then we get less stability in the upper body too because the shoulders are slightly lifted. Inhaling and exhaling. Now, if this feels unstable, then please come back to a previous modification. Just figuring out, playing with the different modifications and noticing what feels best for your body. No right and wrong here. Inhaling and exhaling. We've got two more to go. Rest if you need to. Mm -hmm. Now, bringing both knees in towards you. Give yourself a little rock and roll here. And then from there, taking the feet down to the floor. Readjust yourself if you need to. Coming into a twist from here, but a passive twist. So this is why you might need your bolster or a folded um, pillow or blanket. We're gonna shift the hips towards the left. Extend the right leg out. Draw the left knee in. And guide it over to the right. Now you might need some support underneath it or it might come all the way down to the floor, or it might not. You can always keep that um, top leg supported by the bottom leg. Left arm is in a cactus or a T, so the shoulder is rooted downwards. Steady breath here. You can play with what feels right for you here. And if there's another twist that feels better for you, go ahead. And the last thing here is if that left shoulder is rooted, you can glance over the left shoulder. And we're taking some long, soft, steady breaths here. Inhaling and exhaling. When you're ready and feel like you've settled, allow the gaze to come to center. The left knee draws up, left foot comes down and the right meets it. And we shift the pelvis back to center and over towards the right side. Extending the left leg long, readjusting your props if you are comfortable with that. And the right knee draws towards the left. Again, adapting the shape for your body. Maybe the knee feels better coming up further or further away or any other adjustment. The right shoulder is rooted and grounded in a T or a cactus. And then if that's the case, you can gaze over that right shoulder. Take some steady breaths, tuning into your body, noticing what it is that you need here. Always giving yourself the option to adjust, to adapt, to take a completely different 
shape if that feels better for you. Tuning into the sensations of your body. You can stay here for as long as you like. Gaze comes up to center when you're ready and then we'll shift the right knee back to center. Foot comes to the floor, left feet, left foot joins it and we shift ourselves back to center. From here, option to take the knees in towards each other, giving those knees a little bit of a circle, either in two separate circles or going round in one direction. Whatever you've chosen, keeping them steady and smooth, we'll change that up into the opposite direction when you feel ready. You can stay here, give yourself a little hug and take the knees wide if you like, if that feels comfortable. Option for happy baby here is the feet come up towards the sky, knees come down towards the earth. You can take the back of your thighs, outer shins, outer edges of your feet. You can stay in stillness. You can rock and roll from side to side, front to back, massaging the lower back, the spine. Once again, wherever you are, tap into that center line of the body. And over the next few breaths, starting to release whichever shape you're in, feet come down to the floor. Great place to stay right here for relaxation, taking the feet wide, knees in towards each other. This is great for the lower back. If you have any props that you want to take the underneath the knees, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, option to come to your relaxation in your own way. And that's going to mean different things to each of us. And as you get settled, I'm going to meet you seated and I'll guide you through relaxation. So taking your time, giving yourself any adjustments you need to come to a comfortable place for you. Mm -hmm. Settling in, offering yourself that eye pillow, that extra layer, or opening a window, or whatever it is that you need here. Maybe even putting some music on, And then taking a full breath in when you're ready. Exhaling it out in your own time. Uh -huh. Taking another few breaths just like that and allowing your eyes to soften or to close if you're comfortable. And then simply take a moment here to notice the support underneath you. Notice the earth, the different textures underneath you. And take a moment to notice the sounds around you. And get comfortable and familiar with those sounds. And when you're ready, take a big breath in all the way to the top of the crown of your head, drawing that energy all the way up. Exhale it out like you could let it flush down through that center line of your body, all the way down to your feet. We'll take a big breath in from the soles of your feet all the way up to the crown of your head. Filling up, exhale, sweep that breath out of your body. Another two breaths just like that, drawing from the soles of your feet all the way up. Exhaling all the way back down. And then the last one in your own time. And on that last exhale, let the breath go entirely. And 
And so the breath settles back down into its own natural, easy rhythm. And then from here, you can allow yourself to rest into that support underneath you. And notice if it's hard for you to allow yourself to relax. Staying away from the stories as to why and how, just be curious. Be interested in your response without needing to put a story to it. And then when you're ready, allowing your bones to settle in and your joints to feel easier. Allow the muscles to feel soft and loose. And if there's particular areas in your body that feel tight or tense, spend a little bit of your awareness there, allowing everything to soften, even if it's just 1%. And allowing the muscles of your face also to loosen, the back teeth to part, so your jaw feels relaxed and easy, as easy as possible. As your skin releases. And from here, notice if you can allow your thoughts to soothe and feel easy too. And just start to let everything go. thoughts that arise, notice them and allow them to sail on by, like a boat in the ocean, vaguely in your awareness as you glance out of the horizon. Allowing yourself to stay here for as long as feels comfortable for you, knowing you can simply tune my voice out. Otherwise, starting to simply take in the space around you without needing to open your eyes, imagining the walls, the ceiling, the floor. Noticing the support underneath you, underneath your body. Noticing how you feel and how your body feels. And from there, allowing movements to be drawn into your body as you start to take more mindful breaths. Allow that movement to be lazy, to be slow, like you're moving through honey. Maybe a stretch feels good, long or wide. Maybe any other movements that suit you come into your awareness. Now if you're on your back, turning to one side or another, if that suits you, I'm taking a moment there. And when you're ready, we'll meet.
meet in the place that you want to end your practice, whatever that may be. Drawing a hand in a gesture of closing. Taking a full breath in, exhaling, chin down towards your chest. And thank yourself reverently for following today, for being here, for spending time with yourself, for learning to tune in and build awareness. I thank you for being here from my heart to yours and everybody here at Everyday Counts. Namaste.